All right, we are pulling into uh, Woods and Meadows Division One, just off of Rhododendron. A beautiful entryway. Uh, Division One is a little smaller scale than Division Two, number of homes, etc., and it's actually under a different uh, HOA. You come in off a of rhododendron and you have the opportunity to go right or left, uh, right onto Nassau and left here onto um, Monte Carlo. You can see here we have an entrance to the uh, play field. And that's some of the reason um, that people like Division One better because it has this nice big play field. Additionally, I think the smaller scale of the Division 1 is uh, quite attractive to people. I drive past the house so you can just see what the street looks like. You're going to see the listing coming up here on the uh, right-hand side. And I'll loop back around so you get a sense of where you sit in the neighborhood. This house sold, oh gosh, better than 18 months ago. Uh, at that point was one of the highest sales in the neighborhood. Uh, quite honestly, um, it was a decent house, nice yard, but the inside wasn't fantastic. This one here sold this summer. I want to say that sold around 460, maybe 450 to 460. This was a non chafey built home, a little different floor plan, lovely backyard, uh, interesting layout inside. Well, loop around here and you can get a feel for the cul de sac. And not quite as many homes up on this uh, side of Monte Carlo. This neighborhood started in the late 90s, and I think they finished out in Division One probably early 2000. So we've got a lot of nice mature landscape in the neighborhood. All right, we're back at the house. All right, we're right out in front of 23794 Monte Carlo in the Woods and Meadows neighborhood, Division One. So you have a huge aggregate um, driveway. This house is definitely desiring somebody that wants to do some entertaining because there's tons of guest parking. Also would just be kind of a fun uh, play area. Driveway's a little sloped you know, away from the house, which is nice. And you have a lot of screening in the front yard, so quite a bit of privacy from the road um, as far as some nice trees. We have a tile roof here, and this is a lifelong tile roof, so that's another thing that I think is a huge benefit. The owner of this house is an um, engineer and somebody that wants to make sure everything is in great working order, so even though the house is so young, a lot of the systems are brand new, including all new windows. That would be really unnecessary for a house of this age, so that's a really nice benefit. All right, we are at 23794. Monte Carlo in the Woods and Neighbors Med uh, Woods and Meadows neighborhood. And we're just getting ready to enter this home. So we come in the entryway. We actually have a beautiful entryway, two stories open stairwell. Come right in on real hardwood floors. This is a red oak finished in place, which is quite nice. It's a very traditional layout in the sense that it ha offers a formal living room, formal dining room, and then a great room off of the kitchen. So we're going to start over here in the formal living room, which is spacious but not overly large. So I think this could function as a number of rooms, music room. I've seen a lot of people converting these formal rooms into uh, playrooms. See, so it has this nice coffered ceiling. And again, the windows are all new. And uh, these are giant windows that really let in a lot of natural light. Formal living room comes onto the formal dining room. And this dining room area has real hardwood floors finished in place. Again, these look like red oak. We have uh, 
nice neutral colors on the walls. I would say it's kind of a gray color. The big picture window here looks out into the backyard, which is terraced and nicely landscaped. It's a very nice um, look. And then we spin back around, you can see that formal living room again. So this opens up onto the kitchen and that hardwood um, moves right through into this space. As I mentioned earlier, they have a sile stone on the counters. Uh, it's actually in great shape, but it is green. We have gas cooking, above cooktop microwave, nice garden window. If you like to grow any herbs, that's kind of a nice spot for that. Uh, not an undermount sink, but a nice deep sink. There is an island. These are all real wood cabinets, oak looks like to me. We have a wall oven and niche space above that. I see in this floor plan a lot of times people will put um, some other sort of appliances there. So great spot for toasters, toaster oven, so on. We do have a pantry and that is shelved. And uh, there is a space here for a breakfast table if you like. You can see that the uh, counter on the island is cantilevered, so you can slide some bar stools there. And they have in place a, a pot rack. French doors lead out to the backyard. Again, it's beautifully landscaped. It's not a big lawn, so not, not a lot to uh, care for in that regards. Um, but certainly nice for entertaining and exploring, and uh, that is fully fenced. So, be a fun place for kids and dogs. Family room here off of the kitchen that offers a tile flooring, which is nice for pets and kids. Gas fireplace, and uh, this pony wall allows you to, the space feels a bit larger with the pony wall there. You can see back to the entry. We have a uh, large, under stair storage closet. Uh, the door here to the garage. So you come into hardwood floors when you come in from the garage. Powder room, a little bit of wallpaper there. And again, the counters might be a bit dated, but that's uh, easy to update. So we spoke on the phone. This indeed has a first floor master bedroom. It's a spacious bedroom, tiled floor in this bedroom. Probably a bit on the dark side, but I don't know, that doesn't bother some people for the master. Some people prefer to have that. The door to that back patio, it appears to me that they had a hot tub or a jacuzzi outside at one point. And uh, the ensuite bath also has tile flooring. We have dual closets, so two walk-in closets. Decent amount of hanging storage. I say that, remember, I'm currently living in a house that was built in the 1920s, so any walk-in closet is a decent closet to me. So two walk-ins. Double vanity. This is an integrated, potentially uh, also a Corian. And when I say integrated, it means it's seamless, so there's no sink here. When you take this out, you're actually taking the sinks out as well. But that's really quite tasteful. Uh, separate door for the commode and shower area. It's a walk-in tiled shower. And there is a linen closet here. So a lot of nice storage in the master bedroom. Uh, not jetted, but a nice deep soaking tub. On the first floor, I'm gonna head back out into this backyard. Um, I'm thinking you can see the fence all the way around in the back. I would suggest that these folks had probably large dogs. It's on the side of the house here. They have a completely separated fenced in uh, dog run area. Again, I'm, I'm kind of guessing because I don't really know the, the sellers, but the way this looks, um, it would suggest to me that they had uh, a dog run here and it is completely um, fenced in. So it's kind of a nice area for dogs. And then there's a shed here, and I'm assuming this conveys just as it's still here and they've already moved out of the home. In your very own yard, again, I think this would be kind of fun for, 
for kids and exploring and certainly dogs would love this. Plenty of squirrels in the neighborhood, but this is back behind the house. Um, I don't know, it's a little bit of an oasis out here. It's very quiet and uh, peaceful. Maybe a spot for a fire pit. Back there in the entryway, I was saying we would walk through this door to the garage. You can also see your laundry room is here. Plenty of room if you want to add more shelves. There is a built-in alarm system. This is plumbed for a deep sink, should you want to add one. And we have a very nice sized garage. So we have a single door here and a double door here. And the way I see the markings on the flooring, it would suggest to me that they actually did park three cars in this garage. Again, um, the homeowner is an engineer, so it looks the way an engineer's house would. Uh, very clean, I like that. So this white tube, that is a whole house vacuum system. So um, it has a whole house vacuum and this furnace uh, looks absolutely fantastic in very new condition. And then you have also a tankless hot water heater and those are not only fantastic, but really energy efficient. A little niche of storage right here. We're going to head from the entryway upstairs and it looks like the carpet's been installed recently. This is a very low shag multicolor, which is very forgiving for pets and kid stains. And as you saw earlier, we have that um, two story entry. But that's what it looks like from the top. Nice big windows here to let in a lot of natural light. And we have several large bedrooms. Chafee, or the builder in this neighborhood, did an excellent job uh, with bedroom sizes for everybody. Somebody got cheated. This has got to be 15 by 13. And this room looks out over the backyard. Fountain hallway. Second bedroom. And this is staged, so the furniture here is for display purposes and give a sense of how big it is. Um, all the rooms have about the same amount of closet storage, wardrobe closet. This room looks out over the backyard. Mm, it's a, a little irregular shape, but really a nice size room. You could put a lot of stuff and furniture in here. Third upstairs bedroom, extremely large. There's that wardrobe closet open. They're all about this size. I don't think they all have um, the truck system, but you know, that's easy to add. Probably this is probably um, 12 by 12, 13 by 13, something like that. Also looks out over the backyard. Common bath. And um, this has dual vanity. Separate door for the commode and uh, this is a tub shower combo skylight in this room and uh, tile tile floor in here and this is a real tile with grout hall linen closet very nicely shelved and then uh, the bonus room again they have this staged as an exercise room this really could be anything now you will be on a septic system in uh, woods and meadows but you could certainly add a closet. This room would be big enough to make a bedroom out of it. Maybe while um, the kids are little, since it has such a big bath upstairs, maybe it would be convenient to make this the master bedroom. And then the uh, kids' rooms will be real close by.